Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I talk about cake business. This is your cake business school where I teach you about the business of baking and share tips and strategies that would help take your business from zero to a hundred. I'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, the United Kingdom and if you're coming or you're stopping by to watch my video for the first time, thank you so much. It's good to have you here and if you've always been here, thank you so very much also for always being here. In today's video, I'm going to be be talking about your cake ingredients in fact my cake ingredients from a personal standpoint and from personal experience does my cake ingredients really matter do the ingredients i use for my baking really matter now if this is something that you're interested in and you think this topic will be of interest to you as a baker get something to eat drink relax and i'll be right back you're welcome back so i'm going to be sharing a personal experience i am that baker that prides herself in the trust is it trust? How do I frame this now? I'm not baker that trusts her recipes. Like I pride myself in the excellence of my recipes, in the quality of my recipes. And so relocating to the UK, I had to make some changes. I knew that, of course, I wasn't going to have access to all of the ingredients that I used for my cakes. And it was going to be a totally different ball game, having to get the ingredients that will suit my baking so i started searching i started researching as well and the first store that i got to know when i arrived in the uk was one of the popular stores that we have here in the uk and so i bought ingredients from there i could get my all-purpose flour from there and so i started shopping from there and using that to do some home baking for the family that we were staying with and i was also practicing just to see how things would work so that's what i have been using so far so good and it's been working for me i tried my vanilla recipe tried my red velvet the coconut all of my recipes i think even the chocolate i know i tried my chocolate even the fruit cake i think i did i tried all of my recipes even the banana bread if i'm not mistaken so i tried my recipes and they were all fine and good and i was just working with that particular brand of flour yes i have some right here if you can see the background so i was working with that particular brand but then not too long ago i did a baking as well i baked my cake one of my cake flavors and then i found out that it was looking nice, all good in the oven, everything was fine. So far, so good. My recipes have been just cooperative and they've been amazing, except for the vanilla recipe that had a mind of its own that I had to learn how to bake that again. Okay, but this particular recipe hasn't been giving me issues at all. And so I baked on this day, it was looking fine, it was looking good, it was looking nice in the oven. But by the time it came out of the oven, something that was high in the oven, looking nice, all fine and good, by the time it came out, it had reduced in height and it had buckled by the side. So I was wondering, what could have happened this time around? Did I forget anything? Was my oven temperature not okay? What did I do wrong? Of course, when things happen, when you bake, you want to troubleshoot and to try and figure out where the problem might be coming from. I've talked a bit, not a bit, I've made videos on why you could be having issues with your cakes when you bake. I'm going to link those videos so you can watch. So I was just troubleshooting and trying to think, could it be my oven temperature? Could it have been my ingredients? Did I over mix? What exactly went wrong? Because the mixing was fine. Everything was good. Even when it was in the oven, at least I could see my cakes baking. They looked all beautiful, amazing, red, rising nicely. But by the time it came out of the oven, what I saw inside, what I saw inside the oven was different from what I had outside of the oven. So I was wondering, and I just couldn't figure out for the life of me what the issue might have been. So that was that. I had to just use the cake. It was not bad in taste. It was not bad in texture. It's just that it shrunk in size and it wasn't looking like my red velvet cakes it wasn't looking like my cake that i know it wasn't looking like what it's supposed to be of course if you've been baking your cakes you're familiar with your recipes you're familiar with how it looks for me i can tell even right from the mixing when something will go wrong with my cakes if i miss something out or there's something wrong i definitely can tell even if i don't figure it out at that point when it comes out of the oven and i look at my cakes i know if something is wrong or not so on this day, that was just exactly the situation. No problem. I tried baking again and I think I tried baking again, the same recipe one other time when I was baking, I tried it again and the same thing happened. I saw my cake nice in the oven. My regular cake was doing good. It was doing nice. But when it came out, it was not what I was expecting. And 
unfortunately i don't have pictures to show you and i'd love to show you exactly what i'm talking about so as that was what happened for the second time and i was like what happened it was then it clicked that girl <laughs> it was then it clicked that i had been using something else other than what i had been used to so there's this particular brand that i use i'm not advertising this is not a paid advert it's not a paid video nothing there's no sponsorship on this video i need to put that out there because it's a requirement for us as youtubers so this is not a paid or sponsored video please so out of all of this i realized that i suddenly realized i was going to use the the same flour that i had used the second time of course I, it turned out to be my flour because every other thing had been a constant every other ingredient i've been using was fine but i realized that i had switched my flour <laughs> i had switched the flour that i was using the one that i've been using all along the one that i've been using has been giving me amazing good results in my cake i had switched it for some reason i went to this other store and i felt oh i can try the i can try the their plain flour and so i bought it and I looked at the name and I looked at it again. The name was saying white plain flour, something like that. I'm like, I don't know what this means. I don't know what it is. All I know is all purpose flour. So I said, nah, uh, I'm not going to use this again. So I tried something else, which wasn't still the brand that I'm used to. And I didn't still get the same result. It wasn't that bad as the other ones, but that was what I figured was the issue. And I had to quickly resort to what i used to use for my baking the flour i used to use for my baking so this is me saying that the ingredients you use go a long way i learned a couple of lessons from this experience so this might be you having issues with your cake you might be baking and you're not getting the same results that you used to get as before you want to check the ingredients that you're using first of all that it's the same it's important that you're consistent with your ingredients second of all you want to make sure that Everything is still up to date. It's not expired. It's not gone off. It is still fresh for you to use, whether it's baking soda, whether it's baking powder. I know, I believe by now you should have an idea of how to test for the effectiveness or the potency of your baking powder or your baking soda. If you put your vinegar into your baking soda, it should sizzle or it should fizzle. There should be that shh sound when you do that. Okay, so I know that's one way to test for the potency of your baking powder. So please be mindful. Make sure that number one, you're consistent. Number two, you're using fresh ingredients that are up to date. And number three, you're also using quality ingredients. I know that things are not the way they used to be. Ingredients are rising. Bakers are reviewing their prices. They are reviewing upwards. Those that are shutting down are also closing down. Those that can't go ahead. So a lot of things are happening and it can be tempting for you to want to use something that's of lesser quality just so that you can meet up with the demands of your customers or you can meet up with the demands of your market. Please, as that might result in you hurting your business, hurting your products and shooting yourself in the foot. So as much as you're trying to cut costs, as much as you're trying to manage the economic situation globally at the moment, please do not use ingredients that are less in quality than you're used to make sure that you're still going for quality ingredients and you're getting the best because you want to deliver the best to your customers excellence is always the watchword here at my bakery and i believe that it should be the same for all of us quality excellence in products and excellence in service as well so i learned a lot of lessons from that experience so far and i can bet you that if i bake with the flour that i've been using before i'm not going to have that experience anymore number four as well is that please you should mind your baking times you should mind your baking methods make sure that everything is going fine and everything is going well i made a video about red velvet before because i'm talking about this because this question the, the recipe in question was my red velvet recipe so i've made a video talking about your red velvet recipe if you're having issues with it what you can do so mine was none of the issues that i mentioned in that video but i just observed that as I started having these issues of recent and thankfully, thank God I was able to figure out, troubleshoot and know what exactly the issue was. So these are the things that I've learned and I would encourage you, please stick to your products. Baking ingredients are not things that you should that you cannot switch up or change like your beautiful dresses, your gowns and all of that. It is something that is science backed and your ingredients also are very sensitive and very important. So it could destabilize the, the the structure or the texture or the taste of your cakes if you decide to switch up things without doing due diligence to know 
whether these things will actually work or not so let's not take this too too long i thought to share my experience and to let you know that of course your cake ingredients matter a lot so please maintain consistency use quality ingredients do not go swapping and changing probably there's a new new um, product in town you just want to try want to check if you're going to try and check there's no harm in that there's nothing wrong in that but make sure that you're doing it for yourself you're testing in your kitchen to know whether it works or not before you introduce it to the market so before you use it for the cakes that you're going to use to serve your customers i believe that i'll be able to shed light and to prove to you that it's important to not just swap your ingredients okay so please the ingredients that you use for your cakes they really matter it could be baking soda it could be baking powder i remember stumbling upon a video yeah by auntie cake we have one of our veteran bakers a big baker back in nigeria and i saw the same video this is something she made i'm going to just insert a clip so you can see she showed two cakes that she baked the same recipe but they definitely looked different i believe one was taller than the other and the texture because she had to cut it open the texture of one was different from the texture of the other what happened she used a different leavening agent i don't know if it's baking soda now or baking powder but the two the the, the leavening agents she used for the two cakes were different so please it's important it's important that you know what ingredients you're using yours might not be flour it might be your baking soda it could be your your maybe sugar it could be your chocolate brand whatever you're using please 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 do not just switch or change brands because it has the tendency to affect the outcome of your case. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can drop them down in the comments below. Until I see my next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed.